left it short. Wardenberg's got it. Three seconds. Moore. Miller. And Miami wins it. West Bryan here with one of my favorites, Miami head basketball coach Jim Laranega. Coach, coming off an amazing NCAA tournament run, what are the summertime objectives for the Miami program? Well, we've just completed a very successful recruiting class. So we'll have six new players who need to be indoctrinated into the Miami way, the way we like to do things. And they'll be joined, uh, or the returning players, we have six of those guys. And so we have basically uh, kind of a new team uh, and we'll have to develop this summer a style of play that fits our personnel. Anthony Miller with yet a steal. Back-to-back -back action. This is the guy that can finish it. Tom Wormy. He's not going to fail on that one. How about that, Anthony Walker, getting that steal and going to the upper room? But did you feel like coming into the tournament, you saw the things that you guys were doing, and you were like, "Hey, when we get in the tournament, we're going to make some noise." Well, in actuality, it all started uh, a year ago um, in the summertime when we looked at ACC rosters and saw how much bigger physically our opponents were going to be. So what we decided was we were going to spread them out, play more of what uh, is now typically called small ball. And we had a lot of success by moving Sam Wardenberg, a natural four man to the five and spreading our, our offense out and then scrambling on defense, meaning doing a lot more of pressure defense, trapping defense, trying to force turnovers. This summer, we'll do the same. We'll look at our roster, compare it to our opponent's rosters, and see what's the best way for us to play. So you talked about those six new guys, headlined by former Sunbelt Player of the Year, Norshaw Omier, then also Nigel Pack, an all Big 12 performer, and that great freshman class you talked about. What are they bringing to the team? Well, th this class is probably the most athletic in terms of speed, quickness, and jumping ability that we've had during my 11-year career at Miami. The past 11 years, we've had some teams that were very big, very strong, very physical. We've had teams like last year that were slight of build, very quick, uh, very good guard play. Uh, this incoming class is going to add a lot of speed and quickness to our lineup to go along with the players we already have returning that are very fast. So uh, we'll probably have a much more up-tempo team, uh, a team that, that uh, can put a lot of pressure on the ball. Boy, it is just so tough wow. to stay in front of Isaiah Wong. That's, wow. in, that's an NBA move right there. Going off of the tournament run that you guys had, is it going to be different? Are you preaching to your team? Even though it's a new team that you guys are going to be hunted because you were so successful last year, or is it just completely different because there's a, so many new faces? Well, we're going to begin the season like we do every year. Our goal uh, in the non-conference is perform well enough to be considered for an at-large bid come March Madness. Uh, then we're going to fight like crazy to try to win the regular season in the ACC. The tournament, the ACC tournament, you know you guaranteed a spot in the NCAA if you win that. And then play our best basketball in March during March Madness.